Hey guys, welcome to uh, driving with Lester talking in GTA. <laughs> now this is driving with John in GTA, where we uh, watch me drive. Technically speaking, I haven't built this truck yet. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think the video where I build this truck is going to come out sometime in mid late June. I just really enjoy playing this game and how much this truck slides all over the place. It wants to push, but then it'll just... It's its bad. It's so bad, it's good. If you're easy on the throttle, it'll actually move out, move out pretty well. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? This thing is ridiculous. <clears throat> That's what you get for me not watching where I'm going. Oh, overlook point. Oh, I guess there's a few of them on the bridge. Coming up on one of my races here, I think it is the in and out race, which I've shown you guys before. If it is, I won't, <coughs> won't do that again. Yeah, it is. Wish you had the option in this game to actually having tires with, um, you know, <coughs> grip. That'd be nice. Let's check out the map. Let's see what we got. What? No. Wrong button. From where I'm sitting, I can't see if there's check marks on these. I'm kind of picking them out now. Looking for one I haven't done. I would assume they've added some recently. I don't think they have. What is this mission? Players 2 to 8? Nope. <laughs> Let's do another one of my races I haven't shown you guys. What is that one? Crosstown Express. Yep. I have not shown you guys this turd. I think this is the second race I made. The first actual race I made, and I said it in my last video that either that uh, Just Jump It was the first or one of the first. I think Just Jump It was the first one I published. <clears throat> um, this is the f I don't know I made two before Just Jump It I made 
Cannonball Run, which I never published, and I made Crosstown Express, which I can't remember if I published or not. Um, it's not a good race, though. I'm, but, you know, I'll put it on here. Maybe someone will get some enjoyment out of it. Maybe someone will uh, <clears throat> see it and like it. Oh, wow. Oh. There I go getting uh, <clears throat> distracted. I clicked on Facebook on my phone. And that brought up a picture of a <clears throat> excuse me, allergies are still bothering me. Brought up a picture of a car and I was like, oh, it's a cool looking car. You know, bring that picture up, maybe save it. And then it refreshed and who knows how far down that picture is now. Okay, Crosstown Express. I put a name to that to give it a little bit of a hint of what you have to do. As you can see, once you start the race, there is only the finish line. <clears throat> that could be fun for a group of people, I guess, you know. Not knowing where the finish line is, you tell them, hey, don't go into the map. You said go into the map, it'd be way easier to figure it out. So somebody might, you know, make the mistake of turning on the road I just turned on. Which, yes, is a, definitely a mistake. But one I made on purpose. I rarely drive on this road. I need to make another race on that road like this. Hey, red shirt fella. Where am I going? Who knows? Wrong way. I'm actually going back to where I need to be. Um, if I remember correctly, which I might not, um, I don't know how to drive. Wow, what the, the series of turns I just took back there to do what I did was awful. Wow, I figured that would break. Um, now I've got myself in here. What am I doing? I'm being dumb, and that's fun. Now the the uh, finish to the race, I believe, is at the docks. It's gonna be bad. This is tight. Yeah, we'll go this way. Uh oh. Whee! I'm driving like an idiot. All over the place. I'm basically, oh wow, I stopped that. I'm basically just pressing left and right on the uh, control stick, just all over the road. Being dumb. Being dumb on purpose. I very quickly became annoyed with myself though. <laughs> like no, this, this doesn't work for me, gotta go fast. I mean, this, I guess this race could be kind of fun, you know, if you tell people not to open the maps, like I said earlier, they really don't know where they're going, if you know the finish line is at the docks, and you just drive to the docks. That car reminded me, I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen this, but I've seen the game trying to put cars in front of me so... Oof, that was way close. But the game trying so hard to put cars in front of me that... A jeep was pulling up to an intersection and it actually did a wheelie. It like accelerated so hard to get in right in front of me. And that was in a mission, the one where you, you are uh, Franklin and you go save Michael at the uh, slaughterhouse. Huh. Bunch of footage from uh, the recent. What do we got? What is that? I don't want to do that. I'll do that. Random race again. Bunch of uh, footage from the recent 24 hour Nurburgring race. 
coming up on my Facebook wall. That's interesting. I figured that was about done. Uh, that's what she said. I can only have sports. Okay. This is one of those races I know I've done it before, but I don't I don't remember it. I say that a lot. Uh Banshee Comet. Yeah, let's try the comet. I think I'm gonna have to paint this one red. Something about a guard's red Porsche 911 that just, uh, yup. I don't know if you guys watch any other car stuff. I really like Chris Harris. He's a good driver and a good reviewer. Um, he recently did a video on the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. And he was driving a white one at the first of the video, I believe. Ah, man. It might not have been white. Most of the ones I've seen are white. This is one of those times I should research before I call it. But I know that part of the way through the video, he gets in a purple one, and it is awesome. Absolutely awesome. It's a, it's a great color. It's possibly a little bit lighter of a purple than I would like. I like really dark purple. It's almost black. But it still it looks amazing. He might have been in a red one at first. One of these days, um, I'm going to get some sleep, and then my memory will be a force to be reckoned with. Considering uh, I have a four-month-old, it's going to be a while, though. I can remember stupid stuff, like the McLaren F1's motor, I believe the uh, engine designation for it is S70-2. But right now I can't remember if it's a 6.1 or a 6.4 liter. I know it's 627 horsepower. I should, I should know the size of the motor. I mean, it's a car I've liked since it came out back in 93. That's a... the year 1993 for all of you people who might watch this and were born where the year started with a 2. I'm from last millennia. Ooh, a ramp! Whee! Well, that's a... I'm gonna do some old lap. Kind of fun. This bridge is really cool. If you guys haven't, uh, haven't check that green bridge back there out. I think it's that green bridge. It might not. No, it's the one that the train goes over. So it's the one we will drive on here in a minute. This silver one right in front of us. Not the green one. Yeah, we'll go check that out in just a minute. It's pretty cool. Just little detail stuff they put in the game. I saw some people online when this game first came out. They were griping about uh, the land textures, I and mean, you can kind of see the little square patterns and stuff. Um, where the, the land texture is repeated. And they were, you know, you know, talking about, oh, if you just use this program, that program, it would have looked a lot better and everything. And it's like, yeah, maybe they could have done that, but do you realize how much time they spent making this city and all the detail that go that went into it? I mean... I've been playing this game since it came out. I you know, pre-ordered was it you know at Walmart at uh, 
standing in line. I was third in line. Don't you guys hate when you're recording footage and you hit the wrong button and lose a bunch of what you're recording? Me too. Uh, I just did that. This was going to be the third part of a video that I just lost an entire 15 minute segment of. So... It's only cool if you go between them. Oh. Um. Yeah, that sucks. A little bit frustrated about that. Not gonna let it get me down, though. Gonna do what I said. I just hope I didn't say it in a part of the video that I lost. Because then it wouldn't make any, any sense. We're gonna go check out this silver bridge over here. Because, like I said, and hope you heard, it's pretty I cool. I don't think I can get up there from down here. Huh. I've never looked at that from this point of view. Here, ladder, ladder, ladder. Gonna have to go around. Oh! See, I've never been down here before, guys. And there's old train tracks down here. Like, this is where the train used to run. And there used to be a lower bridge, but then they built a newer bridge and elevated the train track. There's so much freaking detail in this game. That's really cool. Like old, unused train tracks and the new ones above them. I mean, because they could have just put grass there. In the section of video that I lost, which I should just not talk about and forget and just move on with my life, but, uh... Oh, what, really? Oh, okay, good, good, good. Um, ran from the cop in that old truck, and... It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, old, the old blue truck. I ran from the cops for a while. They shot out two of my tires, and then I blew a cop car up with a grenade and had to drive through the fire and it set my other two tires on fire and so then I had no tires on a truck that needed you know spun and slid all over the place anyway so then I was just basically oh that was a pretty view but it was odd for a second and then I was just basically screwed I couldn't do anything Is it going up, guys? Let really me go up the side of it. I don't know why I haven't figured that out yet. That's a pretty view. We're not to the top yet, though. Man, the the side that should be the obvious side to go up is not where you go up. And what just happened? What in the world? It's not letting me go up any further. What? A piece of crap. Come on. Okay, um... What? No, what? Like I said, now do that, I would land in the water. That might have killed me, though. I don't know why it wouldn't let me go up there. That's... Both frustrating and weird. But this is what we're doing. We're going up to the top of this bridge, so I'll go up the other side. What are the chances there'll be a ladder down here? Slim to none? Yep, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Is that a ladder? Or just a pipe? Ah, just a pipe. Not the big one. No, I think that yellow one was a ladder. Nope, 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 nope. So how far down do I gotta go to find a ladder?
Not too far. That's good. Okay. Mm, balls. Run, 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 run. Hopefully I don't get run over by the train. So how about horribly positioned ladders? Like who's gonna... How do you get on this in the first place besides jumping down from up there to climb the ladder? Hey, the fog's going away, so it's a better freaking shot. It would be really cool if this bridge went up and down from time to time. Um, and that green bridge over there, too. Obviously, there's not any boats really traveling. But it would be cool if, like, for... <clears throat> And at the end game hour or two every day it was up. That is, let's go into first person here. That's just pretty. Okay, on the back side of it. Okay, the cables and everything you can see. Looks pretty good. I feel like I need a tetanus shot before I climb this thing. Yeah, I can't believe I couldn't climb up on the other side. That's crazy. If it stops me here, that's going to suck. Yeah, look at that. Every time I come up here, I'm just like, ooh. I think we are at the top. Nope. We are not at the top. What? No, whoa, hey. First person. Bad. Okay. Like, it'd be really cool if you could go in here and see um, the motors and the all the mechanics to pull the bridge up. That'd be awesome. It wouldn't even have to be anything special. It's kind of a dimly lit room with uh, giant motors and some giant gears and cables and pulleys. I think it'd be cool, but I'm kind of a nerd. Do I have a parachute? Negative. <clears throat> what is that? Just a massive chunk of uh, something. Sometimes I want to get this on PC. And do the you get a mod, take all the water away and just explore all the Explore all the water areas. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna do this race here. I have no clue what this is. It's a boat race. That seems really boring. Is the boat race going to be boring, guys? I feel like it is. And there's probably somebody out there that just, just does, like, boats and the um, jet skis. Sea shark. Yep. That's what it's called. But yeah, there's probably somebody that just does that stuff. And it's like driving. Why would you have land races? Who wants to drive? Driving's stupid. And to that person, I say, enjoy your jet ski, sir. <laughs> That's 
try to do forums and stuff, and I, I've been on quite a few Automoto forums, but I don't really harp on people or tell them they're stupid or anything like that. I'm more inclined to, you know, help people, um, and, and not sarcastically help them in a rude way, actually help them. I'm not really interested in proving that I'm better than anyone else because I really don't care. And I don't complain much. You know, if someone's into something different than I am, hey, cool. <laughs> so forums and uh, a lot of the social media stuff doesn't really work because it, it seems like it's all people just uh, complaining about stuff. And I'm just like, hey guys. Okay. Life's too short to get all worked up about dumb stuff. Oh, hey, you didn't like that movie and you thought it sucked? Sounds good. Go watch a different one that you like. So, yeah, I don't do much on forums. I am a, a gearhead. I uh, have a lot of different hobbies and things I like. I play video games probably too much. I can't say too much, but it does take away from some of the other things I like to do. And my main thing is I'm a gearhead, and I love cars and building stuff and driving. I'd love to get down to Circuit of the Americas and run around that track. And closer to me, there's a, a road course Hallett out in uh, that's west of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Haven't been to that one. It's, it's still kind of ways from me. I'd like to go there and. do a, a track day session. That's what I want to get into is track day stuff, but and that's expensive. Because it's more than just, you know, kind of setting up a car for track day stuff, which it's a lot cheaper to kind of get a little bit of an older car and modify it tastefully for that type of driving. It's a lot cheaper to do that than to buy a newer car that might already be capable and suitable for track day driving. Um, But, video games is a lot cheaper, like the PS4, I bought it, 400 bucks. Um, you know, I've got, I've got Call of Duty Ghosts and Advanced Warfare. Ghosts suck. Um, but it was the first game I bought from the PS4. It was between that, uh, the Tomb Raider, which I really should have bought that. Um, and a Need for Speed Rivals, I guess. Kind of wish I'd have bought the Need for Speed Rivals, too. I, um, I don't know if I would have enjoyed that, but I might have. I haven't really been big on the Need for Speed games lately. But I, I, just, I was sitting there, I was looking at those three games, and I, I didn't really know anything about Call of Duty Ghosts at the time. You know, mainly that it sucked. Um, didn't know that, so I sat there, I was looking, I was talking to my wife, I was like, I don't know what to get, you just pick one. And she, she picked the Call of Duty game because she knew I had enjoyed some of the previous ones. And where was I going with that originally? Oh yeah, um, track days, expensive, video gaming, not as expensive. So, you know, let's say I've got four games, 60 bucks a piece, $240, plus the PS4, so that's like 640 bucks, plus tax and stuff. And, you know, this headset, you know, I'm around $700. Um, you do a track day, you might be spending... You know, me, I'm going to buy extremely good pads. So, you know, good brake pads, maybe 100 150 bucks. It could be more, uh, depending on the vehicle, some of them, $250, $300. But after a track day, you're going to replace your brake pads. Uh, 
you know, maybe they last two track days, but if you're doing it right, kind of, well, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. It really, I'm saying like you have to, but it really depends on the car and the brake setup you're running. You know, if you have a smaller brake setup and you're really, really heating them up, then yeah, you're probably going to have to replace your pads. But, you know, still, if you're heating them up to that point, it's good to change your brake fluid as well. Um, if you're running the car real hard, you know, just me being kind of cautious, I'd probably do an oil change. Transmission fluid, every product, yeah. Again, just kind of overly cautious, two or three track days or something. Probably it'd be a manual transmission, so maybe not transmission fluid. Actually, I, yeah, it would be. Uh, the car I want to build is like 99 to 04 Mustang. They're fairly lightweight and easier. They're easy to make really light. Not really light. Upper 2000s. Very light compared to modern cars. But, um... In those, the manual transmissions use automatic transmission fluid. Oh, I thought I could go in there. Did not see that great. I didn't see that great. I didn't see that great. Ha ha ha. But, on top of those expenses, which I mean, let's say the maintenance after a track day, you, you spend, I don't know, let's just say $200 in maintenance. Um, the track day itself probably cost you a few hundred bucks to, from the get-go. And then there's also the massive risk of most insurances don't cover track day runs. You can get insurance for for that type of driving or you know actually doing a racetrack thing but it's it's quite expensive so whereas I bought these video games and I'll buy all this stuff and I have about $700 in it and I will get years of use out of it you know I I might get bored with this game eventually but I could play it for as long as the, everything holds out um, you know, as long as it works, I could play it that long. I won't. I could. Um, you know, with the, with the car, though, I'm spending a few hundred dollars and getting one day out of it. And the next time I go out, it's going to be one day. And then you also run the risk, you know, along with the insurance thing of, what if you do, what if you do screw up and actually damage your car? Yeah, you can fix it, but it's not going to be cheap. What is this? I've gone past this, but I've never stopped and looked at it. You can walk up it like stairs. Huh. You can also shoot this guy from it. <laughs> oh, he died. I was just trying to wing him. Driving down the sidewalk is fun. What's this road called in real life? I think it's like the California Incline or something. There are doors in the side of it in real life, which is. I can't remember what they go to. It was um, way into maintenance, probably sewer systems or something. It's just kind of interesting looking. Mm. Why does she dive like that? That's dumb. Hey, there's a car backwards in front of the store. Let me dive right where he could back over me. That seems smart. What? Let's go. Gold Baby's Camaro. It's it's one of those things that's so awful it's good. They told me to stop my car. So I used it as a time to save my footage and 
start a new recording. He shot out my tail light. Sometimes I drive with the camera knocked up just a bit like this, or pushed up so I can really get a good view of the traffic ahead. And uh, misjudged that a bit. It's one of those, should I go right or should I go left? I think we'll go right, too late. Turn back left and right into him. Oh, Bell. Are there cops after me? Because it kind of feels like they aren't. Ooh, let's go with this. They're not after me anymore. Somehow the T-tops are still there. Was that thunder? Excuse me for a second, guys. I'm going to look at my phone and check the weather. I thought I was breathing into the microphone for a second, and then I stopped breathing out, and uh, the rumbling kept going. Yeah, 30% chance, and then 60 and 60, so... And then by 6 a.m., there's no, no chance of rain. Then by 7 a.m., there's a 50% chance, and then... Looks like 40% chance till noon. And then, yeah... The seven day forecast on my phone. Actually, one, two, no, ten day forecast on my phone. It just shows chance of rain or thunderstorms every day. This is one hell of a spring. I saw some predictions that this summer, and uh, if this video is watched away in the future, I know I shouldn't date them by saying stuff like this, but I really don't care. Um, the summer of 2015 is actually supposed to be quite a bit cooler than previous summers the last few years. I rather hope that it is because I want that car. I rather hope that it is though because uh I just really enjoy summertime but it gets so humid. Oh that's a semi vehicle. It's so humid. I live in Arkansas and it's just ridiculously sticky sometimes. I know it's worse in Louisiana. I've been down there in the summer with no air conditioning, that sucked. But um Yeah, I mean it's just 100 degrees for multiple days in a row with 90% or more humidity. And I'll tell you, that's not pleasant. If you've watched some of my, or I guess my, uh, Silverado real life driving video, you can kind of see me a little bit. I'm, I'm not a skinny little guy. I'm a little bit overweight. <laughs> you know, I don't know if it's the extra weight and the heat, or if it's just the heat or what, but I mean, it's so humid around here in the summertime. I step outside, and I'm I'm sweating. Like, I mean, by the time I walk to my truck, I've got sweat on me, and I'm not like crazy, crazy, crazy out of shape to where I can't walk to my truck. It's like, <clears throat> I don't want to make it sound like it's difficult to walk outside, that's not what I'm saying, but uh... It's just really, really humid. I feel like I've made myself sound like I'm like 600 pounds or something. I'm 5'10 and I'm 280 right now. <coughs> so, yeah, 5'10, 280. That's definitely overweight, but not... Uh, not can't move or walk around overweight.
I actually like the mountain bike. I have a little bit of trouble with it due to my uh, being a wuss. No, my right knee. Um, I hurt it a long time ago and then babied it a little bit too much. And so it's not quite as strong as it should be. So after about five miles of trail riding, my right knee will start to come out of, the kneecap will start to come out of place a little bit. And if it goes ahead while I'm riding it and pops out of place and back in, that's less than pleasant. It swells for a few days. Working on that though. Basically doctor was like, hey, just keep riding the bike. It'll get better. And then he's like, as it gets better, you'll be able to ride further. I'm like, yeah. Because the trail, I like to ride local trails about 10 miles. So I, whenever I go out, I can only ever do half of it. And that always sucks. <clears throat> And it's, I guess, it's more rewarding to do the back half of the trail because you finish back at the parking lot. I always hate doing the first half of the trail, which sucks because the first half of the trail is definitely the more fun part of it. But you do the first half, and then I get to that point where my knee's starting to hurt, and I got to ride back on the road about three quarters of a mile, maybe around there, three quarters of a mile to a mile on the road back to the parking lot. And that just sucks. That's no fun. Let's rob Trevor's store. I feel like the cops wouldn't care if you robbed this one. Hola. Just get out of here, asshole. Are you kidding me? What do you think I'm Someone doing? need all that money. I heard you already. Yeah. Jesus go ahead and go ahead and put that in the bag there. <laughs> Duckin won't help you on this one, fella. Yeah, gonna need to check dental records on that one if any of his head's still intact. I feel like an RPG at that range, though. There wouldn't be much left. It would have also killed me in real life. Of course, in real life, I don't feel like I'm ever going to need to rob a convenience store with an RPG. I feel like even in areas where RPGs are used more frequently, that's not a scenario that typically comes up. I could be wrong, and it would be interesting to know if that actually happens. Any military guys who have been overseas recently, uh, if you've seen a convenience store being robbed with an RPG, I would love to know about that. So in the comments, after you tell me how much my video sucked, uh, tell me about RPG store robbery. Come on. I'm flying backwards. I better stop doing that crap. These cops are upset and aggressive. And what did I do? I mean, seriously, what did I do? I stole a car, which, I mean, let's be honest here, this is a depiction of California. They shouldn't really care that much. Um, ha ha, funny funny, not really, maybe, sort of, whatever. Um, <laughs> But I stole a car. Didn't hurt the person I stole it from, though. <clears throat> that makes a difference. And then I blew up a known, should be well known meth lab with an RPG. I feel like I've done a public service. Taking some drugs off the market. You know, can't them out there because they're not can't be made at that facility anymore I've helped I feel like I've helped if anyone who watches this um, <clears throat> also makes videos it would be interesting to know leave a comment but it would be interesting to know if you consciously have to not make noise when you yawn 
I have found myself doing that often. Because yawns are contagious, and if you make your audience yawn, that pretty much means you're not doing a good job. I already sound like Ben Stein. I don't need to yawn in y'all's ears. While I'm thinking about it, what in the world was that? That must have been a lightning flash. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before. It's going to be difficult to see with the uh, windscreen a bit shot up. That's a machine gun. There we go. Um, when you do the mission where you rappel down the side of the building, you shoot through these windows here. Um, you shoot them out with a helicopter and then skydive into it uh, if I can pull my share of poot that'd be really nice oh I am nowhere close there it's right up there oh crap anyway yeah you can share a poot into it and um, walk around inside there there was a video a guy posted up on YouTube where he made it look like there was a jetpack in there. And there wasn't. Had me fooled for a second though. I was like I was watching that. I was I was at work. Um but no, I wasn't watching YouTube at work. What are you talking about? No, I, I was watching that. I was like, oh, I'm going to go home. I'll get the jetpack. And we finally know where the jetpack is. Yeah, I was all happy. And I get home and I go in there. I was like, there's no jet. That jerk. That jerk tricked me. <laughs> Ooh, how much money do I have? N not much. Eventually, that will be a drifter. Again. I think that video is already out where that one is modded. I don't think I've done anything with this thing yet. There's the stats. That one, yeah, is definitely a full acceleration. That one doesn't have full acceleration, so I imagine I haven't done it yet. This. This is so slow. But it's cool. Alright guys, I think we're going to call this video there. I got some nice bullet holes in my back. And my chest. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hope you guys enjoyed it.